mai. In today's video, I will be unboxing a quarter staff. What's up warriors, welcome to the channel. Please remember to support us by liking, sharing and subscribing so we can continue growing our armory and bring you more videos. This week we've got another unboxing and it's very, very exciting as this week we're unboxing a quarter staff. For those of you that don't know what a quarter staff is, it is a pole weapon used in martial arts and stage combat. It is a shaft of hard wood ranging from six to nine feet long, sometimes with a metal tip or spike at one or both ends. Right, so I'm gonna open this up, show you what we're working with and have a play and then hit you with a review. So let's go. I, I'm actually really excited. serious risks including injury, disability or death. Cool. Um, and then it says made in China. Oh, I'm injuring myself. Very well, that's where we got it from. And back around. The first thing I can say is it's really light, which is the reason that I ordered bamboo. Um, I went for the bamboo wood because it's known for, for being a lighter wood, but it's really strong. And there's a little bit of bend in it as well, which is nice. It's a, it did say flexible wood, so. That's nice to see. It's really nice as well because they've kind of they've kept the bamboo kind of feel, which is really nice. Again, there's always a, a risk that you'll like lose the, the natural look to these, these weapons. So I'm gonna give you a couple of details about this weapon. It's bamboo wood, it's six foot in length and is flexible wood. It can be used in martial arts and of course, stage combat. I chose bamboo wood as it's a light wood with great strength which allows you to have power and speed on your attacks and have a great defense. I bought this product on eBay, which is risky. eBay can be a hit and miss with weapons. Some weapons will turn up too sharp or way too wrong, which of course is extremely dangerous. But I thought, how much can they get wrong with a court staff? So I decided to take the risk. The seller of this court staff was play well at martial arts. Well, I'm gonna have a play, see what it's like, and then I'll be back with a review. It's great. Uh, the wood is so light. It is the reason that I, I chose bamboo wood. You can imagine when you're um, blocking parries or going in for attacks that it's so easy to just kind of make it look fancy while being completely in control. Before I kind of had a play, I thought my um, positive on this, that the best feature on this would actually be the weight. And although that is an incredible feature of this, it's actually not. The best part is how easily the wood slides through your hands because that changes the speed of your choreography. It changes how fancy you can be with it. And this core stuff allows you to be both. You, you know, you can be as fancy as you want and you can still be at a, a great speed and look very impressive. I'm gonna do a whole lesson on how to use a core stuff, your different types of parries, your different kind of blocks, the different grips that you can have. And then I'll do another video as well about like spinning it and how to use it, how to do fancy tricks. That'll all be coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. And personally, I just can't wait to, to have a play with it. So that video is going to be as fun for me as it hopefully is for you. Yeah, so that, that's the best part about it. My least favourite part is it's probably hard to see in this video. Towards the end of the court stuff, both sides, there's quite a bump. So it's like that they haven't been sanded down as much towards the end. It's okay, it's not like a massive problem. The only thing is I worry with each kind of bump that the wood will easily chip. It's kind of been varnished, but you can kind of feel the difference in the wood as you run your hand down it. These bumps maybe needed a little bit more varnish or need a little bit more sanding down. I've got a feeling after having this for a little while that it could chip away. But I don't know, I've only just got this, so I may be completely and utterly wrong. And I hope that I am because otherwise it's pretty perfect. So my review is great. I want to give this weapon a five out of five, but I can't just because of these bumps. It might 
take on a few battles. It might be fun. But I think at some point it, it will chip quite easily and I think the places it will chip are in the bits that needed a little bit more sanding and a little bit more varnishing. So that's a little bit of a, a done point. Thing is, it's beautifully weighted. It's beautiful. It's going to be such an easy weapon to use. So I want to rate it high, but the fact that it could easily give you splinters and could have done with a bit more love and care when it's being made, makes me want to put it a little bit lower. I think I'm going to rate it a, a 4, possibly 4.5, just because the splinters are upsetting me. I know I'm going to get them and it's not going to be nice, so I can't give it a 5, but it's really pretty. So I'm going to go 4.5. Disagree with me in the comments or agree with me in the comments. Tell me, tell me what you think. What would you rate this? Because it's pretty, it's lightweight, it's very easy to use, but it has a risk of giving me splinters. So have fun in the comments and give me what you would rate it out of five. There we go, you, you can do the job for me. Yeah, make sure that you continue watching our videos and keep an eye out for quarter staff weapon training and me basically messing around and having fun. So if you want to see any of that, then stay tuned. If you don't, then enough. So that's it, that's the unboxing of the quarter staff. See you soon warriors. It's so green. Ah. Oh that's another thing that I wanted to say actually. The wood is actually more flexible than it feels just sitting here with it. It's got a nice bounce to it, it's got a spring to it when you're, you're fighting with it. It's true what it says, it is flexible wood. It's got a wiggle, it's got a wiggle which is good, we like that, we like a wiggle. Okay, I think I'm done talking now. So that's it, warriors, that's this week's video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out what else we do here at Combat Live, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you again soon, warriors.